Hello, my name is Miley Oye and I work at Google. I've been there for over five years helping people with websites to make their websites more search friendly so they can be found in search results. How do you define the term search friendly? There are some sites that are super fancy, right? They have a, a lot of video or a, a lot of ways of engaging the user but using a lot of images or using techniques that aren't as easy for search engines to understand. Now what's easy for search engines to understand are straight images and text. So a site is search friendly when it has things like the company name in regular plain text, the location, and then a description also in text. A site is more search friendly if it does the basics correctly, and text is a big part of that. Why is text so friendly versus videos, animations, or pictures? Because a lot of the way a person searches is that they enter what we call like a query, like pizza restaurant in Mountain View, California. And what we'll do with that is that we'll take that text and then look for sites on the web that are relevant, that have information about being a pizza restaurant in Mountain View, California. If I go to Google and type in my business name or keywords about my business and I'm not listed first or I'm not on the front page, what have I done wrong? Why, why am I not there? How do I get listed higher? <laughs> okay. Corey, you've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I was worried. <laughs> the key is, is that there's a lot of businesses online. So in a way, there's kind of a lot of competition, right? So you have to make a website that helps your users. Major kind of categories of factors would be on-page factors, off-page factors, and then information about the user. These are major signals that we're going to use to make a page that we think more relevant in search results. Let's talk about on-page factors first. So on-page, if a user is searching for New York pizza restaurant. Do I have stuff about New York? Do I have that written in my page? Do I have pizza in my page? Do I provide any good information to users so it's useful? Then off-page factors. When search engines and users, same way, try to determine if a page is relevant, stuff they look at is what other users say about it. Right. So these are kind of like the links that come in or reviews that are written about, say, a, a business or a pizza restaurant. So what are the quantity and the quality of the links to this site? And that's what PageRank is. It's judging quantity and quality of the incoming links to help us judge the importance of a page. So then it's kind of using all those signals that are not directly on your page, but thinking of how can I get more people to link to my site or to write good things about my site? Mm -hmm. So my sister who owns a preschool in Milpitas, one of the things she did as she was trying to build out her online business to, to rank higher, for off-page factors, she thought, you know, I've been an educator for many years, so she started to write articles for parenting magazines. And so when she wrote for these different magazines or different blogs, you know, in the byline, they also include a link back to her site because readers will want to know about her. The third factor, on-page factors, off-page factors, a third is kind of about the user. Right their preferences and things like their location. You kind of want to find your niche, make sure that people that are looking for you can find you. So if you're Corey's Pizza in New York, look to rank for things like Corey's Pizza in New York. Right. Make sure the text is there, form those partnerships and get links coming into you that are merited. And then remember that it's going to be relevant for users that are local, most likely. If you summarize this all in one word, is that word relevance? Yeah. Is that it? I would use that. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, remember to be relevant. And this isn't just for search engines. This is for users too, right? right? Relevant applies to everyone. Because you want those users, once they come to your site, to get the information they need. So you have to create that relevant site too. Good to know. It's like magic, right?